What is going on everybody on YouTube? This is Endermail here and today I am bringing you guys the interior to the house that we just built. Um, so as you can see I'm in kind of a different location than when I built it because this is actually the original house. Um, that last house I built during the tutorial didn't save and that's also why I was pausing during last tutorials because I was looking at pictures of this one because I just kind of built this one and then I wanted to make a tutorial on it for you guys. So. First things first, you're going to need to uh, redo the entire floors with oak wood planks because last time we just kind of left them grass. So if you already did that, then you are good to go. Alright, so first thing we want to do is there are no, there's no way to get up to the second floor, so let's add in some stairs. So go ahead, you can grab any wood stairs you want. Um, I'm just going to stick with the oak wood stairs just to kind of flow with the entire house and then also get out oak wood planks or any planks to match your stair set. So we're going to put the stairs in this corner just for the fact that this up here will be the bedroom and the doors are right here and if we put it in this corner I don't want the doors to be like all in the bedroom so it's a good way to like separate the room. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually like turn this so what we have to do is we're going to have to go like this and well, let's start from the bottom. So just start down here and work your way up. So as you can see, I didn't get the whole way over, so we're going to have to come over like so. like that get the corner stay right there and then up like that so there you go and now what you're going to do is just place down these blocks to block in the staircase so you go up and then it turns right here and it comes up here and you can't put stairs here it doesn't even matter um, but I'm gonna leave that like that and then I'm going to take out my fences and place fences around just so I don't fall off. Just like that. So now we have like a little railing balcony banister. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna actually start with the bedroom first. So every bedroom needs a bed. So just go ahead and place down double beds because it is too wide. And then you can choose what you want to go on either side. I like chess on the side of my beds. You know, just to give it look like a nightstand, you can place stuff on them, in them, or, you know, just have a nice little place. You can either put, you can also put crafting tables here, or bookshelves. Let's put bookshelves, just so we can put torches on top, like little nightstands. And then that way you can also put the torch on top, just like that. So there is the bed. And now up here, we're going to want to add in some all other decorations, such as chests. So we do need chests and furnaces, crafting tables, just kind of the whole deal. No furnaces up here or crafting, actually, because we will have that in a different place. Oops. So we're going to need chests. Let's go with fence just to try some things out. And then... Where's my decorations? We're going to need torches. Go with item frames, paintings, and then all, any items you want to add up here just to give it some design. So chests can go anywhere. I like to place double chests under double windows or under single pillars. I don't like to overlap like that. That looks weird to me. So either under the double windows or under single pillars, it's up to you. So I'm going to place my chest there. You can put anything you want in it. And then just place item frames around with just random stuff in them. Just to make it look good. Like on each pillar, have like a different item. Like that. And then also you can do paintings. Oh, that was not my painting. You can do paintings up above places like that. See if we can get a too long painting. There we go. To add color to the room, place one there, you know, just add some color and design and style. Now, if you want, we do have a ton of room up above, so you can take stone bricks 
you can actually break these and place stone bricks around your bed like this at each corner. And then take stone brick slabs or stone slabs, doesn't even matter, and place them around like this. You can even do this if you want, stack slabs. Just whatever design you think works the best. And then take out fences. And go up like two or three with them. Depends on how you're feeling. And then just place down slabs on top. And then even up here you can like do some design or something just because you have so much extra room. And there you go, there's like a whole bunch of different design ideas for you guys depending on how you want your room set up. I think it all looks really nice in the end. And there's a nice big bed with a nice like king size suite around it, so that's pretty cool. Alright, so there is the bedroom, simple design and tips. And now let's start down here. Now, over in this corner will be the kitchen area. So kitchen areas, you're going to need furnaces because you're going to be cooking all your food. Now, you can also have a furnace upstairs if you want multi-purpose furnaces for like smelting and cooking. But for right now, we're just going to leave it like that. And then I like to take bookshelves and place around them like that and then we'll take a crafting table and place it right back there and then also a chest on um, you can do either side like that if you want to remain symmetrical or you can just place one but we'll put like ingredients in here and food in here and then that goes to each pillar perfectly so now we're going to take out trap doors And place them along each bottom like that and then some source of light you can do like a piece of glowstone right there and then I like to place trapdoors around that kind of cut off on the glow you can do that and it's right above your crafting table and everything like that so it ends up being like really perfect and then also you can just take out any block you want stone or anything um, and then we'll do stone bricks because stone is really weird in this texture pack and just do something simple like this and take fences and bring it up to the top of the roof like that and it creates like a sort of island feel in your kitchen like if you know some kitchen has like a island area where you can prepare food and stuff like that well this is like the perfect place for that so now over here we're just going to have like a little sitting area with some birch wood stairs. You can place them along the stairs like that and then you can also set out a coffee table using any kind of slab you want. Just like a little coffee table. And then I like to take item frames, place behind like that. And then pick anything colorful, you know, like maybe like a rose and then maybe like an apple. Just to put some color back there. Then you can even place an item frame over here and place in any kind of colorful thing you want. Just anything random. Just like that. Add some cool little texture and design. Then over here we'll have another corner couch. Smaller this time. And then people can actually sit and talk, put some books here so they can read if they get bored. Put a bookshelf there to cut off that table. And then that is basically the designs of the house. Those are basic designs for your interior. You know, you can go spend a bunch of time if you want to make it look really nice. But there you go. There you have it. There is the awesome house. Uh, let me add some more light up here. And this little area, you can actually put like a table or something if you want and make it like a little dining area on top of the roof. But there you have it, guys. There is the house. I think it's really cool. And also with the interior now, it just makes it that much better. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave a like for more. 
I am Endermail, and I am out. Peace.